啦啦。Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Welcome back to Meltdowns, where I think we've got a fairly solid、uh, hospital、uh, growing here. I'm pretty pleased with it, and we are well on our way to our first star.、Uh, what is this? Oh, an electrical storm.、Uh, this could damage our machinery. Fair enough. An injections emergency. Interesting.、Um, not now. Now the problem with this is that. I don't want to only build this room because we've got an emergency in it, but I really would like to have patients that just need this in general. I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to build the room for an emergency. That's not happening. So in this episode,、um, what we want to do is concentrate very much on our staff training, employing the right ones.、Um, we desperately want a GP's office over here.、Um, let's. We do have, I think, three GPs. Let's pop that there.、Um, I think that we do have three, but yeah, but we're going to want a fourth if we've got three GP offices.、Uh, the reason being that we we want to do this is、um, let's just check our machinery after that. Actually, we probably should get somebody onto that machine as well. This one、um, and that one, right? Uh, yeah, uh, we've got patients being diagnosed here and then having to travel all the way over here,、um, which is not ideal at all. It's an awful waste of time, especially if they then have to come back to DNA for their cure. So、uh, I think a GP office halfway、uh, on that journey would be really good, and it might also be good to have a GP office in here at some point as well. That will probably be a thing. But for now, this will have to do.、Um, but we are looking for some staff, and I'm just not finding the staff that I'm quite after yet.、We、certainly, don't want somebody who's terribly dull. Hell's no.、Uh, let's have a look at our awards. What have we got? Oh, we're doing. We're doing all right. We're doing all right.、Um, so, what staff do we have here? Who could do a training? So, we're still looking for. We've got two of these rooms. We could do with three geneticists. That's why are you still using this? I called somebody to repair it. I called somebody to repair it. Stop using it. You're gonna blow it up.、Um, oh, and also, I employed Benny here because.、Um, The doctor that we had in here wasn't very good. They were lazy, and they weren't a treatment doctor either. Now I know that Benny here isn't a treatment doctor either, but he is actually a really good doctor. And、um, when we build our、uh, diagnosis area, diagnostic wing, we're going to want Benny here definitely. He's he he was too good to pass up. So I thought, you know what, he can run this in the meantime.、Um, yeah. Can we please? Yeah, that would be good.、Uh, repair, repair this. What? Why? Why? Where are you? So you're waiting for the GP's office, but you've also got really low. You go for treatment. Let's try and have a bit of a clear out.、Um, you're in the toilet.、Um, let's move you actually near the top of the queue. You can go home. We can't. We actually can't treat you.、Um, And I don't want to build a deluxe clinic.、Um, you really need to come out of there.、Um, you, do you know what? You're getting a bit low on health. Maybe you should just go straight to DNA. You're out of there. Excellent. <gasps> oh yes. Oh my goodness. Right. As soon as we find a decent nurse to work in injection, we're building it. If they're going to start coming in, I would love injections,、uh, the injection room to help、uh, bolster our coffers. That would be fantastic. Yes, it would.、Um, okay. Ooh, a GP likes to argue and is terribly dull. Damn it, Sam Husky.、Uh, he's got a weak bladder. <laughs> Um, I don't really need. Or no, we could get Husky in because he could become a geneticist. A geneticist will need 
diagnosis. So what we'll do, we will train him Maintenance announcement. Plus in genetics. I don't I don't mind the weak bladder to be honest. Um the weak bladder's fine. So we'll get we'll get him in. If we could just find another ooh um doctor to join him, that would be great because that other geneticist I do want to fire. Um so that's the second one for cleanup crew. I feel like we could probably do with three on cleanup crew for janitors. Um nor zoo inducing, definitely not. Um, definitely not. Uh, she's terribly dull. Um, now, you are actually... Madeline is actually a really good nurse, but I think we're happy, aren't we, with... Um, yeah, no, we're, we're happy with them. So, sorry, Madeline. But we really don't need any more. Um, he's nasty. No, don't want it. Don't want it. Don't want it send you home so we're just going to run the hospital for a bit work on some training and whatnot let's get you to the top of the queue as uh, you're looking somewhat ropey indeed you are um treatment failed on you what are you at seven percent i want you to be called into the room june which queue are you in you are on this one good seven percent uh send you do you know what we're probably gonna kill you um let's get you to the top of that queue what about what's going on with you you're quite low on health as well okay you you're quite low on health you're low on health um let's put you to the top of the queue okay sort out our patients we may need to upgrade at some point to a larger reception or maybe get a second reception in um has he been on break though no he hasn't been on break is a problem we could do with an assistant maybe um to take the break times uh, at this point unhygienic not on your nelly nausea inducer uh, nausea inducing no from our okay fracture emergency no send them home if you're having trouble sleeping, what are you doing we'll make you so you're heading to the dna lab okay yep you're all working fantastic where is uh georgia right okay let's let's see here just try and get some sort of order um oh <gasps> we got our first star look at that congratulations your hospital has been awarded a one star rating by the two point health ministry in truth we feared that nothing could survive in the grounds that you currently occupy <laughs> so to hear that you're not just alive but managing to treat people certainly gravy on the proverbial goose uh, continue to play with fire for more rewards or flee that unstable place and expand your organization yours fragrantly tarquin foxbridge look at this we have now unlocked duckworth upon bilge that is going to be the next hospital that we go to i'm very excited about it we've unlocked the toxic waste bin which i have mixed feelings about um we, we've been given some research points that's fantastic we've got some kudosh and also some doubloons that is absolutely fantastic i'm really pleased about that so we got our first um our first star how wonderful um you can go home uh, you can also go home. Uh, you can go home, it turns out. Um, excellent. Uh, we've got somebody with chest infection in there. They can go. Um, right. Patients found violating hospital policy. Okay. We asked to stop. Right. 
Promote three staff. Yes, that's actually a good one. Uh, Lola, oh my god, is almost so good but not quite. Motivated, there we go. We've got another treatment doctor. Um, technically, actually, could be a geneticist as well. Could, could do genetics. So for now, what we'll do is we will pop him in the shot clinic, but we are going to train him up, I think. Uh, ooh, do you know what we'll do? We might do it now. Uh, oh, we can't do it now. He needs... What is going on out there? I want a better... Uh, no. You're no good. You're no good. You're all bad. It's uh, getting on my nerves a little bit, right? <laughs> uh, we really need uh, more GPs, better GPs. Um, let's look at our GPs. Um, the GP queues are so bad, but I'm going to have to start uh, training them. Um, but I don't have a spare GP to, to take the slack and and that's bad, you know, it puts me off wanting to train, but I need to train, I need to train, um, because clearly the GPs and everybody needs to be better, they need to be better, you know, um, they do, we definitely need another assistant, uh, there we go, to deal with this situation, um, so that break times it doesn't come to a grinding halt um, so we can get that going um, that would be good that would be good so we're back to needing to upgrade 10 machines so now we can actually start upgrading our heart racer and we can start upgrading uh, are there, is she still she's still researching it then we'll be able to upgrade them uh, and then we'll get her to research the upgrade for the shock clinic. So all that sort of stuff. All that sort of stuff. You need to go home. Um, yeah. Don't, don't be in here. Don't be in here. Um, we are also looking... Do you know, we've only actually had one person. Um, we've only had one person come in needing the injection oh speak of the devil speak of the devil uh no i don't mind litterers to be honest i don't mind them so what we will do is build this room uh we need space I don't have a lot of space for it uh, for the injection room, but this will be even more money, right? And it, it uh, deals with multiple patients at a time as well. So for the time being, uh, we're going to have it um, here. Um, is what we're going to do. Um, just to, yeah, I think there is good. Um, Let's do that. Just before this earthquake. Fantastic. That's what we like. <laughs> uh, we need... That machine is looking peaky, to be honest. Um, right, let's keep an eye on this situation. Let's keep an eye on this. Um... Okay. Yeah, I think. Right, you didn't do a very good job on that, did you? That was a pretty shockingly bad job. What are you doing? Uh, you can go home. Right, so we've done some training. Um, let's see. Let's see here. Um, I would like, she's still in there, I'd like her to come back and train Jason and we're going to have to pay her to do it, you know, because we can't, we can't have, 
can't really spare the doctors off the floor at the moment so she's going to have to come back and, and do another one right shall we sort out this room um let's see here uh, a nice treatment room um these won't fit i don't think here i don't think i can fit no um maybe we could stick a cupboard over here maybe we can stick a cupboard over there uh we checked the temperature didn't we it was all right yeah that's nice let's pop our medicine cabinets over here uh we definitely need a fire extinguisher that's for sure let's maybe just move this radiator up where can... what's there there look maintenance announcement plants need water plants do need water there let's pop that there we need our janitor there you go right all the good things going on in the world Sick of cheery headlines Let's see, would our articles. water fountain? Then read the daily sneer. No. Because good news is bad news. It's not going to fit there, is it? 24 hours a day. Okay. Can it fit in there? It will fit in there. It looks a little bit odd, may maybe. We're picking up the wrong thing there. Uh, and then, but of course, we've got this situation that once you start moving the cupboard... Okay, let's try this. Oh, no, it won't fit. It won't fit. Wow, okay. Uh, fine. Fine, be that way. I guess we will stick that there. Um, this is what we'll do. We'll move this cupboard, I think, more back to how it was. Let's stick the chair in here if it'll let us yeah because um it's by the radiator it's nice and warm it's a pretty ugly room uh, uh, so you know uh do you know what, what would that would this fit there no oh, oh it would look at that that's fantastic good and then we can put maybe our sweet dispenser over there research, whoop, whoop. brilliant brilliant hey that's not too bad that's not too bad i kind of like it um let's put a clock up here um and it is an ugly room so i think we will put i think we will actually put a plant in this room because i, I just i think this this room is so uh unpleasant do you know what i mean i just think it's so unpleasant it's dark and i don't know unpleasant I don't, I don't know what other word to give it right um i think what we will do is put um some drawings behind here as well so that they can look at those and think less about what's what's going on in this horrendous room to to be honest um a pharmacy emergency yes maybe actually um promote you send you home um let's see so let's just have a quick look will work for peanuts i've got a short temper though terribly dull no okay um no no litera tires easily not great for a janitor what we're going to do uh oh but can we train anybody because i would like to try and do this but we're probably going to run out of time um, so Pedro here could ooh yes let's get you trained in GP2 excellent right let's get some I saw a mono brown a mono beast down there let's get some bennies in here there we go um, have I messed with the temperature at all in this no okay good there we go that's all right you can go home uh you've typically been called into the gp's office just as i said that uh that's most frustrating to be honest with you most frustrating do come along tarquin so this pharmacy emergency 
Um, Attention. Urinate. What? Anywhere in the hospital. You're all will not be tolerated. Right, you need to go home. And I think you may need to go home. Can we shoot? Oh no, that was me trying to shoot that mono beast. That didn't go well at all, did it? You can go home. Um, it's all out of control. It's all out of control, everybody. Um, you do not need to go to the GP's office, and neither do you, to be honest. Blimey. How's this machine? This machine's in good nick. There's no queue. Um, the health minister is arriving. Where is the nurse? The nurses are in good nick for it. Where are the nurses? There we go. Yeah, let's take this on. That'll be good. You can go for treatment. Now that you guys are out there, you can go for treatment also. Um, yes. Excellent. Excellent. Right. Uh, you can go home. Are you alright? What did you fall over on? Are you... Oh my god, there's poo. <laughs> there's toilets right here. My goodness. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Um, look, there we go. Try not to slip on that. There we go. It's poop on the floor, everybody. So we've been looking for... Oops, not you. Uh, we've been looking for a clean-up person. So there she is. There she is. So we can get a bunch of ghost training, I think, going soon. That will be really, really great. Alrighty, alrighty gonna send you home we've got enough problems <laughs> um, definitely need to train up these GPs to help with these queues these queues are getting ridiculous um, so it's good that we are now focused on training um, but we could do it with more training rooms but I'm aware look we're about to go up to level 11 on the hospital maybe that would be a good use of the host of of uh, level 11 is expanding um our training facilities I keep going to that same person why are we doing it like this should we do it like this um okay Qualified janitor to come back do come out please. of there thank you yeah so because as soon as we promote somebody we are going to go over into level 11 um so if we're there anyway if we are there anyway let's put you to the top of the queue um then we might as well um let's get these out we might as well um do something with that space although we d oh excellent we do um push the level up every time we promote train and promote staff i mean that is a thing as well um, we've definitely got something going on with reception it's uh we we <laughs> definitely need to look at expanding reception hmm there's a lot to decide um uh, there's lots to do as always in this game but it's a matter of trying to, to because work out what's best to do in, in what order, right? We definitely need another GP really, really badly. Um, it's becoming frustrating not being able to find the staff that we're after. Because um, we could do with... Ah, he's, he's not quite ready yet. What else? What other departments could we stick him in? I don't really want to stick him in any other departments, to be, to be honest with you. Um, okay. How's this coming along? Ooh, this is coming along quite nicely. Um, and maybe we could. How is? We don't have another upgrade for that machine. That's fine. Should we? We've. We're about to get the Helixa, um, Helixas, uh upgrades in place, which is great. <gasps> Let's do the Jab Master. That's what we'll do. We'll do the Jab Master. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. So, yeah, this is where we are, I think, with this hospital for now. Is It's pretty busy. Um, we don't want to expand, really. 
We just want to manage what we have while we get these, while we get the staff trained up uh, so that it runs more smoothly. I saw they just threw a mono beast on the floor. He sneezed out. Mono beast like radiators, um, by the way. You, sh you can go home. Yeah. We definitely need to get people through diagnosis for faster, don't we? There it is. Look. There. We got our upgrade for our DNA lab. So that's now on to advanced. We're going to start the upgrade for the shock clinic. And then all of our machines are ready to get their advanced research, which I don't know about you, but it's pretty exciting for me. Um... The training room currently isn't being used. Um, so look, we could start getting our GPs up to uh, level three. Uh, maybe we'll start doing that as they've as they've got it. It's expensive, um, but it needs to be done. It's all about the training. Let's get that training going. I think we're going to kick you out. Uh, pharmacy might benefit um, from a second one thing is is if we're getting into expanding this um and we may need to expand the ward as well um and stuff like that then we need to move treatment out of these buildings and to do that we're going to have to unlock another building um and what's weird is because of this again this weird design this is going to be my treatment building over here, which is really far away from the helipad, so I hate that. But it's nice and big to fit in all the, the sort of the rather large uh, treatment rooms. Um, so that's sort of where it's going to go. And this is going to be the one that links it all. Um, so it'll be really weird to unlock this building next and start slinging rooms over there. But, you know, that's... Uh, uh, frustratingly, that's probably the way that it's going to go so we can start freeing up some space. Um, if it, particularly if we want to get in a second one of these, we need to get, you know, a bigger reception in, um, and all this sort of stuff. We're going to have to start spreading rooms out, I think, um, just so that we can make certain tweaks, because I, I feel like we do need another, another reception. Um, let's get that repaired. Um, and actually... Let's have another quick look through the hiring screen. <gasps> Has a dark side. Oh my god. Doesn't that make patients slightly less healthy? You know, it's like the, the opposite side of the healing hands, I think. Oh, look at this. High energy. Are you... You're better than you. Right, we're going to fire them and we're going to change them. There we go. Thanks, Rodney. That's fantastic. You can go home and uh, you can go home. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Um, that was a bit of luck. Um... No, we don't like any of them. So how many assistants do I have? I do have two assistants. So I think what we might do is sling in a second uh, reception. Oops. Um, and as I see you, we might as well send you home. Um, so let's... Oh, see what I mean? I think they do quite like radiators. Where did you go? Uh oh okay yeah i think they do quite like radiators um oh, they also like the reception and the reception area don't they there's no doubt right this one as well bleeding mono beasts and this right we need I'm going to put in another reception here like this. Um, and we are going to move there like that. Doctor required in research. I'm going to pop that there. Um, 
sorry. I took the bin away from him and he was sick on the floor. Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that? So this may help uh, alleviate reception um, without taking up too much space like the reception room does. Um, and we do have two receptionists, so, you know, they can take up that, that space. Blimey. Blimey, and you can really see training GPs when we don't have a spare to take over is awful. It has such a terrible, terrible knock-on effect. There is a lot of sorting out to be done here. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not check out one of my delectable videos available? Feel free to come stalk me on social media and be sure to share this video with friends so even more may watch my shizwa. See you next time, peeps.